Well, Clara, you had never been to the U.S. and never visited Providence prior to committing to the Friars. Why were you so confident that this was the place for you? When they came to visit me, they shared like a vision. They talked to me and I felt that Providence was the place to be in. They have like, it was kind of a family, so I knew that if I want to be in the U.S., I want to be in a place that they were going to treat me well and I was going to feel like home. What makes you feel comfortable with Providence, with this being Clara's home? ¿Qué te hace sentir confortable del que yo esté aquí en Providence? ¿Qué te hace Providence que sea un sitio bueno para mí, para estar aquí? The people. Las personas. <risa> las personas. Dile que las personas, las personas me han parecido muy, muy, con un gran corazón. Las compañeras de juego, sus compañeras me parecen maravillosas. Eh, Susan me gustó mucho, me gustó mucho. Hay muy buena energía. ¿eh? Eh, muy buena energía. Uh, the biggest thing for her is the people. Since she was here, all the people around her were like very nice. She said that we have a lot of good energy between the coaches and my teammates and she really loves watching me, like enjoying the moment. This summer, while your team was in Europe on an international tour, you met them there for the first time. As you were traveling to see them, what was going through your mind? I was, I had a picture in my phone, like, of the team and I was like, learning the names because I didn't want to mess up and I didn't know how they were going to react. I didn't know if I had to give them two kisses like we did back in Spain or a hug or maybe just the hand, but they helped me. So it was pretty nice, but I was very nervous and excited at the same time. And who do you remember most from that meeting on the team? Who stood out to you um, when you first met everyone? Abby. She, I remember that I met everyone, but then I was still nervous and I went into the bus and I didn't know where to sit and I was like looking like all the seats and Evie told me Clara Clara you can sit here so I just went next to her. Well I try to help as much as I can because I know like the transition can be hard. Um, I remember when I came here the first time and even though I visited the school which Clara didn't do but um, I was still very nervous and I was you know scared about the culture shock you know even with my English because it wasn't I mean, my English was okay, but I still was, I was nervous of like actually talking English all the time because I was not used, not used to that. So I just really wanted to like try to like give them confidence to like just be themselves and like, you know, not be like nervous or worry about what other people are going to think. What would you say is the biggest cultural difference between here and Spain? I'm going to say the food. I just miss the food back there. Like Evie said, you don't have like so much fish. I miss fish too. And you have more like fast food restaurants. I'm not used to eat like every time pizza, hamburger and that kind of things. And she brings some really good maturity uh, as, a, as a person in general, that, that she's not afraid to take a risk and go somewhere where she has never been. Uh, but I love her personality. I love her competitiveness. She wants to win. I'm a point guard. I like to play as a point guard not like a shooting guard, but I can also play shooting guard. And I think that I know how to move the ball and how to run the show. I'm a very unselfish point guard, so I pass the ball and I try to f make all the team feel like one. And that's what I try to do, like that all the team is together and play as a team.